Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joy Uzo TV. If this is your first time of coming across my video, you are very welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a full lace wig cap from start to finish. If it sounds like something you are interested in, then keep watching. We will be using Swiss lace, eyebrow pencil, scissors, pins, measuring tape and a wig cap. For the frontal part of the wig, I will be taking 12 inches by 9. The next thing I'm going to do is to fold it in half, pin it down before cutting out the frontal. For the back of the of the cap, I will be taking 12 inches as well by 9 also. After that, I just fold it in half, pin it down, then cut out the lace before cutting out the rest part of the lace at the back. I will be taking the measurement of the one that the lace I will be cutting out. I took two and a half inches, then by two inches. At first, I took one and a half, then I later added half two inches deep. That's where I will start my curve at the back of the head. For the middle lace, I will be taking 10 and a half inches by 5. I will also turn it in half and I start my cutting from 3 inches that's I left 2 inches cutting the uh, from the 3 inches then I just curved it as you can see in the video after that I will be removing this uh, the scrap from this uh, wig cap and the back which is the where you hook the scrap to i will be removing it the wig cap is still very useful okay guys it's still very very useful do not throw it away you can add in an elastic band and you can use it for another wig okay So the next lace I'm cutting is the one that I will use to cover the adjustable strap. So let's start sewing. You can also sew this by hand, okay? If you watch closely guys, you will see how I placed the lace here. The straight part of the middle lace is what I will be sewing together with the back one, okay? The straight part. When sewing these guys, just so carefully because i i speed up the video that's why it's looking like uh, i'm very fast no just so carefully you have to turn the the, um, the middle lace just turn it little by little and you see that it will end at the other side of the of the back one it's just 
the same thing, okay? Just continue to turn it little by little and so. Do not rush it. I did it twice. After sewing this first one, then I still go back again and sew it again to secure it very well. In case you cannot get a full lace cap where you live or you cannot order a full lace cap, it's better you just get all your measurements and you take them to any tailor around you for them to help you and sew it. That is if you really want to make a full lace wig but uh, getting the lace is stopping you from making the full lace wig. So this video is for you. I did um, everything here, both the cutting and the sewing, every part of it and getting the airline, everything, I did it in this video. Although I, have, I made uh, a previous video about the full lace cap, so if you have watched it before, it will not be a problem for you making it this time, even with the speed. I did not speed it too much. After sewing that, the, at the front, which is at the, for the front arm, I'm just going to create a dart um, at the front arm, to, um, at the left and at the right side of the of the cap so i'll just create a little dart there now i will be sewing the the front and the back part, uh, piece together. I will pin it down first so I will know where to start my sewing from. So I'm just taking the measurement again to be sure that it's uh, 11 and a half inches. Okay, because uh, from my, the one part of my ear at the back to the other is 11 and a half inches. While also the front from one part to the other is also 11 and a half inches. So I've added the two legs together to get the measurement again to be sure before sewing it down so i will know where to start my sewing from i will also sew it um, twice after sewing for the first time then i will still go back again and sew it for the second time guys you do not need to have a sewing machine before making this full lace cap if you really want to or you are making it for yourself you can use a needle and thread the thread that have the same color with the lace you are using okay just use your needle and thread but do not double the uh, thread you can use a single needle um, a single thread to sew it because after ventilating it's just like tying the the lace together like the front piece and the, the back piece is just like tying it together when you ventilate on it. So you do not need to double it when you are sewing it. You can sew it by hand if it's for yourself. You are, you are the one that will be using it. Just sew it by hand. Take your measurement and sew it by hand and you are good to go. Okay, now guys, I will be taking 15 inches from the front to the back of the head before getting my hairline. The next thing I did is to fold it in half. That's the two uh, sewing part at the ear side should be on the same line then before pinning it down. So I will be taking two 
inches then another two inches then before the remaining part at the ear which is no longer up to two inches then i'm going to draw it starting from the middle i did not draw it straight i'm just trying to uh, i just tried to curve it to the first line uh, the first point then i take it up again then bring it down a little to the second point then take it up again and bring it down to the last point at the ear then after doing that i will flip it then just trace it out at the other side The next thing I did is to take the from the airline to where the lace will rest on at the ear. I will be taking one and a half inches. That is where my drawing will start. Then going to the back. I'm not going to draw it straight. Rather, I will slant it a little downward. Okay. After that, I will just sew the, the lace, the lace I cut out earlier, so I will sew it together, um, I will sew it before putting my strap. Make sure that the lace is bigger than the strap a little because you do not want to sew through the strap. So after sewing, I just turn it uh, inside out before putting the strap. And after putting the strap, I sew it down to the lace. I will sew it down to the lace to secure it first before putting it to the wig cap. You see what I mean soon, okay? Just wash. Okay guys, you do not want to make a mistake of sewing down the strap facing upward. The hook should face downward so you can hook it to the next one I'm going to uh, sew. Uh, I will be sewing this one down so you can hook it, okay? You don't want the uh, hook to face up or where you hook it to for the part that you will hook the the adjustable strap to to face inside the lace so do not make that mistake at all the plan with my mind gotta get out of it tonight oh run off i am if you found this video helpful please do not forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video like share and comment also like and follow my page if you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, you guys are the boss. Thanks for always stopping by. I do really appreciate your support. God bless you.
feel free to check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Love you!